welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to change out the front wheel bearing out of the 1995 gmt sierra c1500 two-wheel drive that's being said let's go ahead and get this thing done To make it easy on this job, um, if you just do the wheel bearing, before you raise up your car, make sure you turn your wheel to the left. That way it will go like this. This way you will have all the easy access right here to this uh, board over here and this one right here. It shouldn't be a problem at all. But in my case, I've been working on my suspension over here. As you can see, this is my new tire right, right here. So it is easy for me to go back and forth to whatever i want to do and if you want to before you removing this brake caliber loosen up these two nuts over here to remove the uh brake fluid holes over here to give you some slack but in my case there is no reason for me to do it because it's barely enough over here so this is not gonna make any difference plus it's very hard to get in here i had to put a uh, 11 millimeter uh wrench over here for me to hold it right here and then another 11 millimeter socket right here to get this one out so there is no reason for me to remove that i'm just going to uh remove these two bolts over here by using the uh 3 8 um hex nut right here okay just uh make sure this is away in there that way you don't strip it just like that all right and then of course do the other one the same way make sure you tool away in there here they are they look pretty good they're clean except oh he's rusty now before you removing this one Make sure you get your hanger or wire, whatever you got. In my case, I got some kind of a rope over here. So now I'm going to head, gonna wiggle out like this. If it's hard, get you a pry bar uh, carefully, put it down here, don't damage that over there. In my case, it's damaged over here. I may need to put a new caliper right here, as you can see. So go ahead and do this, if that case, you know. Like that, it should be enough. Like that, there we go. Now, be careful, don't rip that cable, that fluid cable over here. Be very careful. Run this one through here, it's like I'm doing my right now. All right, that's awesome. Now, get you a very sharp screwdriver like mine over here. It's been sharp. Just aim it right there. Don't damage it if, you, if you're going to reuse that one. Tap it like that with the hammer. Fry it out. Here we go. It's out. Now, there's a cutter pin right here. Make sure you move this one too. Man, that's a pain in the butt to get it out. Now get a 30 millimeter socket. Oh my God, it's loose. I honestly, oh, it, looks, it looks like you can use some kind of a adjustable wrench or anything like that or channel rack. I can't believe this is so loose. I guess I need to do it the same way. Now I zoomed it in that way or zoomed it out, whatever. Uh, that way you can see now let's see what's in here oh i thought this was a uh, washer it is maybe it is a washer it's uneven that means it needs to go somewhere here the same way too so you gotta be careful with that one 
see this make sure you check when you put it somewhere this is this is a special washer right here it, so this is the auto wheel bearing right here and then now the the rotor should come up and the inner bearing should be right here in the back side right here as you can see it's a bigger one too so that's it and you can start cleaning this thing up and let's clean the uh, spindle out see that's how that that uh, spindle look like over here if it's damaged that means i gotta change the whole thing but so far i can feel nothing so nothing over here is very smooth so this is a very good thing to me very good all right that should be enough now to remove the inner wheel bearing you have to remove this seal first over here find you a pick like this they put it down here like that it's very easy to come out now the uh, wheel bearing it should come out here you go now it's cleanup time inside and out after cleaning everything and now i found out that the uh, inner race over here it is wore out the reason i found that out i can feel it a little bit over here plus while i was cleaning this and out let's see if it's how much it's wore out right here but and then i found this sparkling stuff coming out from here now in this case the job has got harder for me because i don't have the right tool to take this um inner race out so now i'm going to use a pry bar hammer ledge hammer and some other uh, metal over here hopefully i will succeed so first i'm going to take the wear out one the bad one out first because the outer one it is very smooth it's good so i don't need to bother it at this point i'm going to put you on time lap that way you can see what kind of hard time i'm going to have to get that one out over there to start this one out safety glasses safety gloves it is successfully out inner and outer out there was no reason for me to take the outer out but i did it because of the video purpose that way you can see it can be done all right now to put this one back in right here i'm going to grease the inside out here that way it'd be easier to uh i'm going to use the two by four and a mother hammer and then this one here to put it in there and then the outer i'm going to use this one as well maybe and then this one to finish it okay it is perfectly in here now you can do the same thing on the outer side over here except you're going to use this one to finish it okay the new one it was easy to put it in but the old one it was hard to come out it's time to stuff this up with grease over here in this case i'm am going to use the mobile one instead of the lucas right here but be very careful when you stuff this one out don't don't let any sand or rock go in there and then keep it individual like i'm doing my right now i got them 
in the Ouija Ziploc bag. That way I can keep them clean until the process is done. Now after greasing it up like that, now I'm going to do the inner because this is the one it needs to go in first. Make sure it's perfect just like that. And now I'm going to get my hand dirty. Now go ahead and make sure the seal is clean. And now put it here slowly like that. And this time I'm going to get my hand dirty. With, I got no gloves on. And again, be very careful using a hammer or anything like this make sure it's clean just like that honestly guys it's very hard to make video when you do this kind of nasty job like this so right now after I clean up everything like this and then I'm going to put it in there and then I'm going to stuff the outside completely with grease everything in there now it is ready to slide it back in the place just like this be careful hopefully that's it there you go now you can stuff the grease in here all the way in there make sure it's tight until we won't go no more right now it won't go no more. Now you can go ahead, slide your uh, outer wheel bearing in. It shouldn't be a problem at all. Just like this, slide in like that. Like this. And now go ahead and place your uh, washer in with the flat side in, in there. Shouldn't be a problem going because there is a tub over here. We go in like this. You can go ahead and put your nut over here right now and tighten it until the wheel almost can move. Right, sorry for the last clip, it got dark on me yesterday, but this is the next day. So, as I was telling you, as you tie this down to the, the way I must get move, as you can see, my right now, like that. But if you're spinning like this and keep going, then to me, to my own opinion it is no good but to do this you have to be very careful because if you tighten it more and then uh, you can put this color pin in and you don't want to be back it up again if you back it up it's going to be a problem because it's going to be very loose because always tight in there and then loosen back up is no good so you have to be careful a uh, little by little until you find the uh, path for the color pin that way you will get to this way as of mine right now as you can see my right now, it is perfect. That's how I want my. Now what left to do is to put this cap back over here and then the caliper as well. Okay, guys, it is finally finished. So that's it for today. I should sure hope you know how to put your tire back on. So, But thank you guys for watching this video. If you like to subscribe or share this video, I appreciate all that. And don't forget to check out some other video for this truck over here so that's being said guys thank you very much until next video bye bye